All right, here we go. We're off to Manitou Springs, Colorado. Well, here's sunset on our first day of travel. It is north, or northwest. Well, we had a couple hour nap, trying to beat the sun next morning to get to Manitou Springs, Cave of the Wind. We made it to Cave of the Winds. Joanne wanted to do the Caving 101 tour, and it's only held on Saturday at 8 a.m. Ready to zip lining across the canyon. Cave of the Winds. Manitou Springs, Colorado. Guys gonna go zip lining across this canyon or what? You see this thing? Like that would be scary over there. You could do the back plunge down into the canyon where it swings you down in there. Terror dactyl. That's it. Alright, let's go die. Tilt your light down so you can see. There you go. There you go. My turn. Only three at a time could go through that last cave section there, so here we are waiting on the cave floor. This cave system had some really fine, high quality clay that Joy Am and I saved. Try not to rob her or rock her. Rob her, you know. Stagecoach robbery. Make all your money and your jewels. No, what's wrong? That's a suspension working. What's wrong with you people? The stagecoach restaurant downtown Manitou. Yeah, Joyce had the uh, trout. And then I tried the chicken fried steak. We ate on the patio. I see it throw up in the old days. We stayed at the Pikes Peak very, RV very Resort calm. the first two nights. Downtown Manitou Springs. That you've been there because it's there. Why do you why do you climb a mountain? Because it's there. No, it looks like a pile of rocks because there's no trees grow up that high. It's above the timber. Oh, it is a big pile of rocks. <laughs> 
really high power racks. We'll go to the, the highest donut shop in the, in the U.S., maybe in the world. Oh. Jocelyn wants to do oh, incline it's here. Down. It's a 2,000 foot elevation change with a 41% grade. See all the people walking up incline? Yeah, we're going to go do that right now. Here we are at the cog rail, the highest cog rail system in the world. Oh, we're bringing, bringing the private car down. That's good. Maybe we're trying up the fist down. Here's Papa already. Oh, Joy, I should have got that oxygen bottle. We just started and our ears already popped once. The donut shop at Pike's Peak, the world's highest donut shop. This recipe can't even be used below 14,000 feet. That night, a very good friend of 40 years plus, Mike Nelson, showed up for dinner. I made Mike's Chicken Shack Chicken, who has actually voted the best fried chicken in Manitou Springs. Next morning, parking VIP, Garden of the Gods, right out of Manitou Springs. Uh, there are several RV and bus parkings on the top of the, of this parking lot, and I was the only RV that had pulled into this place. Kissing camel?
right out of Garden of the Gods and into Manitou Cliff Dwelling VIP parking. You think you're kind of limited without having a tow vehicle, but if you plan your trip um, with some of the activities around when you're moving your house, you get away pretty well with it. Um, all these places we've been to treat you like a, a tour bus, basically. Um, and it's a, a private tour bus. Well, we left Pikes Peak RV Resort this morning, did Garden of the Gods, and then went over to Manitou Cliff, Cliff Dwelling, and continued on our way about 15, 20 miles here into Mueller State Park. just in time for lunch. Five minute setup and it's uh, hot links, Romano cheese sliders, and lamb chops. You hungry? Put the lamb on yet? I tried to light that paper towel with just paper towel. Joanne thinks we might have better luck if we put our, our ember in the, uh, the moss and try to light it. See if we can get it to uh, actually catch a light. 
so we're going to try that out with a lemon piece of charcoal out there and flint and steel and we're going to shave off pieces of steel and it will be molten sparks and we'll ignite this charcoal on top. It's already go going. See that? Well, we'll put it in our tinder bundle and we'll try and blow it until it gets hot enough to ignite. This won't be hot enough to ignite the flames. Well, we try a paper towel. Now we've got a napkin. And we've got some plant material to the end. So we'll try this again. Strike the steel onto the hard Texas flint and that's going to shave off steel pieces. Some s'mores tonight? Yeah. Graham, bring those over here. Your marshmallow. See what shape that bag is in. That thing came from Texas. And now we're up, uh, what, 8,000 foot? Colorado? That's just funny. I guess they really are jet puffed.
Remember that clay from Cave of the Winds? Well, I shaped it into a crescent moon and fired it in that fire last night till it was bright red hot. If you listen, it sounds like ceramic now. Our Cave of the Winds tour. Splunkering and I made a crescent moon and Joanne painted it. And then we fired it last night in the campfire. We added this to our collection of memories in the windshield here. This is our first morning in Mueller State Park. We're on our way to Gear Lake or Gear Pond to see if we can do a little bit of fly fishing. See if one of the kids can uh, catch a fish on a fly for the first time. some bugs. Hard part was convincing her we needed to catch some flies to go fly fishing and that she needed to grab some of those hoppers that were jumping on her because it was hopper season. Quick thunder shower as we walked back to camp after fly fishing. We had thunder every single day while we were up in Pikes National Forest here. Bring a light jacket this time of the year, they don't last long. two days in Mueller State Park, we move into Pikes National Forest and camp on National Forest Campground. Try our hand at boondocking, got no hookups. We are on Rampart Reservoir, 
at Thunder Ridge Campground, Pikes National Forest. It lived up to its name too, because we had thunder each night here while we were here also. Alright, National Forest. We are officially boondocking. No water, no power, just 12 volt pass batteries to run the fridge and propane. Time for solar setup. Guys, hope you guys see bears easier than you see the deer just hanging out there. Maybe in beef somewhere. Well, it's so the last evening here at the Rampart Reservoir, and our goal is to get a fish for dinner. You think you got something? Yeah, it looks like it. Easy. Take it easy. Don't horse it. It's a nice fish. Easy. Jocelyn, come here. Tell me. Kill me, okay. Kill me. Get him the fish. Well, we got several other bikes this day, but it's the only one we landed. So it was surf and turf for tonight, and it was delicious. Coco sure wanted a piece of that fish. What's this? Selfies on my phone? Uh, selfies on YouTube now. Ha <laughs> ha.
This is our last night in Colorado. This is Pike's Peak at 6.30 or so in the morning as we rolled out. It's all downhill from here into Texas. Well, we took a different route out of Colorado, went south on 109 through the Comanche National Grasslands. We got to see some prairie dogs and some antelope and stuff. Did you guys have a good time on vacation? Yeah. Alright, where are we going to go next year?